All right. Hi, welcome to the Stockin' It Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jay Nitma. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run It. And this is episode 284 of the Stockin' It Zombies. Hey. Yay. So we've got lots of people out chatting it up in the threads already as we were getting set up over this lunch hour here. We could say hello to Randy, Silver D, Julia, Jen, Sarah, Heather, Heather Marlene. Yeah, <laughs> a crowd has amassed. <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> Sophia, hello, hello. Hello. Yes, hello from Kentucky. Rerec. Um, so yeah. How are things going? I was going to say work is so busy. I might have to send you text messages that say, go on without me. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm drowning. Go on without me. You, you can do you, it. You continue in my stead. So I'm the one that's on the, um, the floating door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in yeah. the Titanic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Near, far, wherever you are. Yeah. Um, no, it's officially fall. Oh, yes, true. Calendar Today is summer. officially fall. Happy fall or autumn, everyone. Um, Don't tell the weather. It's 80 degrees today. I know, right? So we had like a little preview of fall and then the weather was like, nope, we're going to go back to some summer, some summer temps. Yeah. So not going to complain about being in the mid 70s or 80s. And um, it sounds like maybe some people are getting some uh, weather reprieve mm -hmm. where they're at out uh, in Discord. But um, yeah, Discord has been has been uh, fun. Lots of enabling. So like tip number one today for September tips and tricks. If you don't want to be enabled, don't go into the enable me thread. <laughs> right. I feel like there's some ninja level enabling going on out there. Um, and then also we recorded this past weekend um, the Hohi show and share, which was so fun. Oh my Lord, Kristen and Debbie had so many. Um, and I was so surprised at the number that I had, right? Like I searched and it looked like I was like on a, you know, one a year pace there for a while with her sweaters, which is fun and exciting, but that's all, all available. If you're a ZKN member, even if you weren't able to attend live, we recorded it. So we've got a, a replay section on our website that's password protected and as a ZKN member, you can go out and check that out. So make sure you check your email. Um, mm -hmm. I'm including that information in the emails that I'm sending out. But we're so excited to have Hobie this weekend. I'm so excited. Yeah, here already. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, when we planned it, it seemed like it was forever, right? Yeah. <laughs> like it's so far out into the future. Um, but super enjoying the KAL and can't wait to get to talk to her. Yeah, and um, we have our free uh, monthly uh, meeting tomorrow. Yep, yep. So open up the Zoom to people who might be interested and hopefully uh, get a few more people on board and uh, yeah, yep. join yeah. us in the forum. Come in, see what it's all about. See that we're, we're great folks because I, I think that ZKN is great folks. I mean, I know that I'm, um, I'm a little biased, but <laughs> smidge. So great. So great. <laughs> Love it every minute of it. Um, so yeah. So did you have a tip or trick today? Um, so my tip or trick um, isn't really a tip or trick. Um, I know that you have the enable me uh, thread, but I find that a lot of times it's update on three days from now in some random time in some other time zone. Yeah. Uh, so my tip or trick that I've been using lately is to set an alarm on my mm -hmm. phone. Not a reminder, not a like as if it was waking you up from a slumber yep. alarm yep. Uh, on your phone uh, on the things that you really want. Um, because by the time that time comes around, I'm out and about or I've forgotten completely. And so if I set that little alarm clock uh, reminder, then I'm able to at least go in and watch the excitement, even if I have changed my mind about purchasing. Um, and, and then I guess my second tip is that I've been so excited for my pigskin KAL um, mm -hmm. that I've um, started pre-planning. So I have some stuff from our marketplace uh, from Fiber Nim mm -hmm. that I was like, okay, I'm just gonna ball it up, cake it up so that I can have that pre-game excitement mm -hmm. um, for that, knowing that there's a lot of things to cast on. 
Yep. Um, also, don't bind off things too tightly. I got my shrug to the point where I could bind off. I bound it off and it doesn't fit. So, oh, And it's cotton, so there's no stretch. So yep. I'm going to have to go look up like a super duper duper stretchy, something that like adds three stitches or something. Got it. Yeah. Get the right circumference. Yeah. But I, my tip, um, I've got, so I've got, in addition to the, don't go into the enable me thread, unless you want to be <laughs> enabled. Um, I've been doing a lot of multiple color work, uh, multiple colors in the work. And um, that involves a lot of yarn swapping um, specifically. So again, I'm just going to show the wrong side of the garden variety, um, MKAL. So, but if you want to avert your eyes, um, if you don't want to see the wrong side of it as well, um, you know, there's multiple colors here that I'm, you know, swapping in and out, um, breaking. And she included in the pattern um, a recommendation to go check out Stephen West's um, Weave and Stephen, <laughs> which is so fun. I mean, it's a, I think it's a technique that's been used. Um, a lot and is everywhere, but he branded it as Weave and Stephen, and so it's catchy, and that's what keeps my. But I watched it, and that was not a weaving in ends technique that I had ever been introduced to. I know a lot of patterns um, kind of assume that that's a base skill, and they don't really mention it. Um, so it was fun to me that her pattern had it, um, you know, explicitly called out because she has so many different colors. Um, and I don't know that you're going to be able to see it on the, the wrong side here of, you know, so obviously I broke um, some of it here and uh, wove it in. It's a little, a little more dense right there, but I've also um, finished up my simple summer sweater. And with these large stripes, let's get the right. Um, the yarn is a little bit more um, visible but it's basically just taking that, the yarn that you just got rid of, um, crossing it over, knitting another stitch, crossing it over, knitting another stitch. Mm -hmm. And it's super simple. Um, I, of course, being neurotic and paranoid, um, weave in the end at the end of that as well with like following <laughs> the stitch, kind of like, you know, you joked with me about the magic knot. Right. <laughs> like, uh, at the end, you're not supposed to have to weave in the ends, but I do, I still do anyway. And that's the only way I knew up to weave in ends really up until that point. So that's what it looks like. On the oh, okay. That really shows it. Yep. 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 Nice. Yeah. And then you can see it on the, um, you know, the other side, it's, it's fairly invisible, right? I mean, it is a little thicker in that spot. So if you're like textile, um, texture feeling it, you know, mm -hmm. that it's there, um, but that, again, new to me technique that I was really um, enjoying. And then doo -doo -doo -doo, it was a ZKN, again, one that you can go out and watch in our uh, members only section. But Jessie uh, came and showed us her um, beautiful projects and swatches out of the color work Bible. And then it was just like a week late um, that Jessie Ostermiller's new book showed up on my doorstep. Um, and there are so many <laughs> tips and tricks on this book. I mean, it is a book of tips and tricks um, in addition to the techniques. Uh, so I've been specifically looking at the crossroads mitts, which mm -hmm. are a technique that I have not done yet, which is double, um, the double knitting. And uh, so, you know, mind blown. It's never something that I've wanted to do before, um, the, the double knitting. But uh, with mittens, having it being two-sided and double thick, so like m mind blown, so interested. And, um, you know, she's got so much about double knitting in here. She's got cast on techniques. She's got, you know, basic principles. Um, and so that is, um, that's, that's coming up on my needles. I can't say that it's immediately on my because I'm getting quite the backlog of things, but, you know, great photo tutorials on how to do that. So it really quick um, and kind of a swatch lesson on how to practice it and get that double fabric. Um, I know you've done it before, but I haven't, um, I know that Jesse explained things in a way, make, explain thing, explains things in a way that make me understand, 
um, kind of like uh, Forrest Gump and, and his mom. And I think we mentioned it this past weekend with Hohe's patterns as well. Um, but she taught me intarsia, right? So that I could knit that um, mixtape top by sending me the chapter about You frozen? Did I leave? Oh, intarsia in the book. Uh, the um, chapter here on double knitting will be um, will get me right into making these mitts. So, um, I think I froze, or you froze for a second there. But um... yeah, it says my internet connection is unstable. So sorry if you missed that. But basically, intarsia. She her chapter on intarsia helped me learn intarsia and the tips mm -hmm. and tricks. And so I'm super excited about the double knitting. I'll include a link out in um, our podcast episode if you're interested in pre-ordering the book. It is a nice hardcover, um, tons of, so there's brioche in here, uh, there's intarsia, there's mosaic, um, and, and all of the, you know, swatch lessons that go along with that, stripes, with some yep. super cute socks. I want to knit the socks like right now. Um, yeah, stranded a lot color of work. That yeah. were nice too. So even if you yeah. feel like you're a color work yeah. expert, um, there were a lot of cute patterns in there. Yukon jacket for the stranded color work. Um, yeah, the, the brioche um, ear flap hat, super, mm -hmm. super fun. Um, yeah, again, great resource, uh, great coffee table book, but also has projects in there. Um, and so I know Again, if you're not interested in a coffee, a coffee table book, she also has um, the Kindle version that's available mm -hmm. out there as well. That's coming soon. So I think she's under 20 days, uh, October or she's, yeah, it's not. Um, and she mentioned that pre-orders really help authors um, yep. when you're, yep. and so that's across the board, no matter who the author is, yep. pre-orders so really help. So if you order it now, pre-order it now, October 6th, you'll get, um, you know, Amazon or wherever your um, preferred book seller is, will uh, will ship it out to you or it'll show up on your Kindle. So mm -hmm. super exciting, so excited for her um, and yeah, so many tips and tricks in there. So I guess yep. that was kind of a little bit of a cheat. <laughs> right. Very all the tips and tricks, but kind of a teach a man to fish type thing, right? Like here's a great resource if you are interested in, in working with multiple colors. So awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Did we have anything else? I mean, we're really excited for the weekend and yep. Yep. We had a few people chiming in saying, try Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off, Amy, yep. which I, I've used before, like at the top of socks. Yeah, I think that that one kind of adds two stitches. Yeah, that yep. I'm hoping that one will be good enough, but yep. I'll test it. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm picking up stitches right now to rip it out, so. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Um, and my excitement about all things uh, knitting, I, I look up because I've got the YouTube screen up over here and I've got, you know, us here. And, you know, if you're seeing my eyes looking in places that don't seem whatever, I'm looking up and I can see myself like arm. <laughs> yeah. so well, and so muppety. Uh, I yeah. was looking at mine too, because last week, my ca the camera that you're supposed to look into to look into people's eyes was yep. up here but then my image is down here I don't know I think yeah. it looks this way I can, yeah. I can see me and then the camera's right above that so yeah well it was a total tangent here which is par for the course <laughs> for me but at work they had Elizabeth Gilbert of Eat Pray Love come and do like a, a zoom interview um so great so great I'm going to watch it multiple times on replay um, but one of the administrators that was introducing the whole thing, like made the caveat that like, this is, you know, this is obviously Zoom and the world that we're living in. And so there may be weird places where we talk over the top of each other or somebody might, you know, burst in or whatever. And that's all expected and par for the course. And like everybody on the Zoom was like, wow, that really put me at ease, right? Like that we set this expectation. So <laughs> I feel like I should record what she said at the of it and like everything that we do be like hey just a little asterisk here you know <laughs> we'll 
we may talk on top of each other. I may get stuck in like a weird position when my internet connection becomes unstable, um, but that's par for the course of what we're doing here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I've had unstable internet here and there. And I'm like, um, did the meeting freeze? Yeah. You know, cause it's just slides, you know, at yep. work. It's not like a person talking. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but yep. I feel like we moved on to a new slide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. And you don't want to be the person that's constantly like, can you hear me now? Uh, are you, yeah. are you sharing your screen? Um, yeah. But I, I want, I want a shirt that says I'm muted on it. Like, because I feel like I'm having to find the mute button a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. All right, we'll see everybody tomorrow at the, um, again, everybody's welcome, not just ZKN members. Um, I'll make sure to link to the calendar entry that will have that Zoom link for folks. Um, and we'll, you know, if we get a large group, we break out into breakout rooms and we have really great conversations. So look forward to seeing people then and super excited for Hokey, like you said. Yep. Bye. Bye, Ufta.